This is the Dell Latitude 5400 laptop and I have been using this laptop for a few years now. This laptop has an Intel Core i7-8665U processor, 16GB of RAM and 512GB of SSD storage. This laptop is not a very high performance laptop, however it does have a very good power consumption that can give me in excess of 6 hours of performance on a single charge. I am currently on the verge of exhausting my 512GB of storage on this device and I am tired of having to transfer files every now and again to create some storage space. Hence today I will be upgrading this laptop from 16GB of RAM to 32GB of RAM and the storage SSD from 512GB to 1TB. So stay with me and let's do this. I purchased the replacement parts online and they arrived today. For the RAM, I bought a single 16GB DDR4 memory module which I have installed in the second available memory slot of this device. For the SSD storage, I intend to keep my files and apps intact, so I will be using a software called Macrium Reflect. This software is not free by default, but you can use the trial version, which gives you a 30-day trial period to try out the software. I search for Macrium Reflect on Google and click on the first option that takes me to the Macrium Reflect website. I select this option to download the 64-bit version of the software. I am prompted to enter a few details, including my email address. I get an email that contains a link to download the trial version of the software, after which I proceed to install it on the laptop. During the installation, I am prompted for a key which is obtainable from the email which I received. I enter my email address and the installation key and I proceed with the installation, leaving all the default selections in place. I have here the 1TB SSD which I will be using for the replacement. It is a Western Digital Blue SN500 NVMe SSD. I will also be using an NVMe to USB adapter to carry out the cloning of my files and apps to this SSD. You can easily get an NVMe to USB adapter online on Amazon, eBay or AliExpress. I attach the SSD to the adapter and I connect it to my computer. I click on Start menu and search for Dix Management. I opened the app and realized that the SSD was not initialized. I go to the Western Digital website at this address and download Western Digital dashboard software for Windows. I install it to verify the health of this SSD. Everything seems to be fine with the SSD. I return to Disk Management, right click on the disk and select Initialize Disk. I click OK to proceed with the default selection. I right click on the disk again and select New Simple Volume. I proceed with the default selections to create a new simple volume. The SSD is now formatted, so I connect it to my laptop. I run Macrium Reflect software as an administrator and I click refresh to load the SSD in the app. I click on clone this disk. I click select a disk to clone and I select the 1TB SSD. I leave this option ticked and I click next. I click back to observe the partitions that I intend to copy. Proceeding to clone the disk in this manner will give me the original partitions with a separate 454.58GB partition which is not what I want to achieve here. I intend to have that extra free space added to the free space in this primary Windows C partition. To achieve this, I click on each of the partitions to the right of the primary Windows C drive partition 
and click on float right to move them to the right and move the empty partition next to the primary C drive partition. Next, I click on the primary C drive partition and select fill space. I click on next to proceed. I scroll down to view the list of partitions that will be copied and I click next. I untick save as a backup definition file and I click OK. I receive this warning that lets me know that the drive will be overwritten. I tick to confirm and I click continue. The operation lasted for 32 minutes 7 seconds. I click OK. I close the app and I safely eject the 1TB SSD. I proceed to install the SSD in the laptop. The installation goes well and I turn on the system. This is the current outlook of my laptop storage and I am glad that I now have more than 500 gigabytes of free storage to work with on this device. I hope you found this video helpful and insightful. If you did, please leave a like and a comment. Thank you for watching and have an excellent day. Bye for now.